Happy day five of January, guys. This morning, I decided to wake up and get my day going with some spiritual goodness. It's very important to be cognizant of what you fill your mind with at the start of your day. And I'm trying to be a little bit more conscious of not getting directly on my phone as soon as I wake up. So I decided to listen to a Sarah Jakes Roberts. Welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Ricky Lee here and today is officially day five of January. I'm so excited because today's actually a chill day. So this is the outfit of the day. We have on this Fashion Nova sweater. You guys have seen this before. I wore this to my New York trip in November. She's very, very cute. Also have on these Zara jeans. Love these. They're so comfy. And then I have on this Kate Spade croissant bag that I got over winter break. She's so cute. We've been focusing on a lot of productivity. We talked about seven books that are going to change your life. We did our vision boards. We started really good habits for our productivity. But today is the day that I fill back up my cup, okay? Today I'm going out to lunch with my good friend Maya because as you guys know, in my relationships category, I want to be intentional about having at least two hangouts a month with my good friends, specifically friends that I haven't really caught up with in a very long time. And so I'm very, very excited to be spending time with her. She goes to Hampton University and we don't get to see each other that often. So I'm excited to be able to spend some time. This is just a gentle reminder to the girls that you do not have to go through life alone. You do not have to be so in the grind feeling like you can't communicate with people because you got to get this, this and that done. Because at the end of the day, none of it feels good. None of it is rewarding when you can't share it with others. You know the saying, it's like I'm a movement by myself, but I'm a force when we're together. It feels so good when I accomplish things and I have my family and my friends there to back me up or to confirm for me like I've been seeing you put in the time and the effort and the work because I share these experiences with people. I would not be where I am today guys if I was the type of girl that was like I'm grinding so don't call me. Like that's not me at all. I'm grinding please call me. I'm grinding please come over so I can talk to you about my issues and we both can vent together. Like that's the type of person that I am. That's not only the space that my friends have provided for me but I've provided that space for them as well because going through college going through entrepreneurship like it can be a lot y'all it can be really a lot and I know a lot of you have really big goals for this year and I just wanted to focus for today's video to show you guys that it is okay to have rest and it is okay to fill back up your cup and if that is by taking yourself out on a solo date or if that is by going on a date with a friend or if that is by spending time with your significant other like whatever that looks like for you make sure you're taking the time to do those sort of things so that you don't feel burnout i was to go 31 days straight just pumping out productivity videos for y'all i probably would go crazy and so i just want to remind you guys that i'm human i have so many different sides to me and i feel like to be a woman is to be a friend is to be a sister is to be a confidant and that is something that i pride myself in is having really great relationships and this year i want to strive to be an active participant and an active pursuant of really dope relationships and people and that comes with practice and making sure that I am actually engaged and so I'm really making sure that I'm doing these little lunch and dinner dates. So I'm gonna go to Brassica today. Brassica is really really delicious guys. It's located in like downtown columbus area but i'm pretty sure it's a franchise that's located everywhere it's kind of like chipotle you go down the line show them what you want they put it in the bowl and then they have really delicious drink varieties so we're gonna go there and we're gonna get in the car now i think the last time i got a minty pink lemonade i'm not really sure but you can get a sandwich, hummus, or salad, with vegetables, falafel, chicken, and biscuit. I'm gonna do a sandwich. I think I'm ready. I'm not really sure. What do you What do you think is the best? Is it your first time here? I came here a long time ago, so I don't. Okay. Okay, I'll do a sandwich then. Hello. Hello. <laughs> What's your name? My name is Eddie. Um, Happy. Welcome to Brassica. This You're is welcome. Come visit us. Please come visit them. Brassica, the Upper Arlington, the best. Yes, they have all of these good right. delicious hummus. Hummus or hummus? No hummus. No hummus. Great. Right. So you should get some greens in there as well. Is that going to be alright? Yeah, that's going to be perfect. She's cooking me up. Okay, some greens in there. Yes. 
so good. Um, no thank you. Um, do you prefer the brisket or the chicken? Chicken. Okay, I'll do the chicken then. Yeah. I'm gonna pass on all of those. Yeah. Um, I think I've tried that. This special sauce is really good. I'm gonna try that again. Can I have the roasted carrots? Mm, I'm going to be dining in. And can I have that um, minty pink lemonade? Yeah. I got that last time and it was so good. Here to the bag. This is the minty pink lemonade. It is so good. I'm a lemonade fanatic. 10 out of 10. And then we got roasted carrots, the special sauce, chicken, and a little bit of greens. And this is the sandwich. So, yeah, we're about to dig in. I'm still waiting for mine, though. I think she said she was on her way. A clap. <laughs> My late dinner late lunch early dinner with Maya at 6 I went to the bank to, to, um, to withdraw some cash for my appointment in the morning and then I also came to the hair store grabbed some free tress um, deep twist hair for the bohemian knotless braids and then yeah that's pretty much all that happened very excited to be getting my hair done because I don't know I love this bob look like I think it's very cute but it's old now it's a new year I feel like I need a new look and also braids are just so versatile you can do so many different things with them and also I can work out freely with them like when your hair is pressed out working out just you don't you just don't you feel limited you feel like you can't do and go as hard as you normally would want to because you don't want your hair to get all like that's kind of the ask again if it's something that you're open to is basically just coming on board and just like hosting this conversation and it would be the second panel okay i would absolutely love to this is crazy because i i'm doing this january series where it's like a 31 day reset at the beginning of um, the year to really just mm -hmm. focus on myself my priorities and like realigning with god and everything and one of my heart's desires this year was to do more speaking engagements and like hosting. And so that's wow. crazy <laughs> that you have reached out to me to ask me to host something because that's exactly in alignment with what I desire to do this year. And especially in alignment with like God having conversations at the center mm -hmm. of literally everything, well, the intersection of everything that I love and I'm passionate about, which mm -hmm. is like influencing building community and also you know uplifting women and talking about God because I talk about God and yeah. everything that I do so yeah I would I would absolutely love to when will this be and as you guys can see I have like tear streaks down my face because I was just boohoo crying because this morning I woke up and I have been wanting to fuel my mind with just nothing but positive influences and things that are going to make me better and feel good about my day. And so I normally, for like a long time, I was doing my Becoming That Girl journey, I would listen to sermons throughout the week. Like it wasn't just on Sundays because church is accessible literally all the time 
on YouTube. And so I would just watch sermons throughout the week. And Sarah Jakes Roberts is one of my favorite ministers. It's not uncommon for her videos to be recommended on my YouTube recommendations. But this specific video, um, it wasn't on their church's like YouTube channel. It was her speaking at a conference, but I still just turned it on. It was like a 15 minute video. I'm like, okay, 15 minutes. Like I can just listen to this. This is great. So I'm listening to it. And she's talking about this idea of confluence and how, you know, when there is one person, you know, they're a movement. But when you have multiple people, you're a force. And a lot of people want to have influence, but they don't have confluence. They haven't taken the time to understand their the people and the climate in which they're trying to change, the atmosphere that they're trying to change. And when I tell you, that literally shook me because... I have always felt really wrong calling myself an influencer because I don't feel like that that's what I am. I'm not trying to influence anybody to do any like certain thing. I'm not trying to like pitch a certain type of lifestyle. I'm really just trying to provide visibility for young black women to know that we can take up space and that we deserve a rightful seat at every single table there is when it comes to the betterment of our community. I received that message this morning and I have been screenshotting all of the messages I've been receiving um, literally since January 1st since I dropped the planners, I also dropped the podcast, and I also dropped the January series. And when I tell you the mass amount of things that have happened in a series of five days, I've gotten so many amazing messages from everyone like this is what I consider confluence. Like this isn't just influence. This isn't just me getting online, showcasing myself looking pretty and saying whatever and you just leaving my video and being like whatever. I'm literally bringing women closer to God, bringing women closer to their purpose, pouring light into people. And I'm just, I'm just so, and I'm just so happy that I'm in this space and that you guys see me and you guys earn for me everything that I've always known. It just feels really good. Even when I couldn't derive inspiration from a, a person or like a being online, I always knew like, okay, I'm gonna just, figure out how I can inspire myself. When I didn't have the energy, when I didn't feel like doing things, it was just always something in me and that is my faith, that is really my belief in God that has allowed me to wake up every single day and be disciplined even throughout this. Like I, I woke up today, I was like so tired, I was up until like four in the morning, but I knew that there were people waiting on me to show up and so, I still did that and I'm just so excited to see like what all of you do and what you make happen it makes my day when you guys comment it makes my day when you guys comment and you tell me about all the amazing testimonies that you have and how you finally got out of your own way and you started you started doing this or you started doing that or you got this internship or this job and you guys are just so excited and that really just makes me so happy because this is that's really all that it's about. It's never been just about like the cutesy stuff and me showing up and showing you guys how I'm switching my room around or you know like how I'm dressing up cute for class. Like this has really been confluence in all of us coming together as one and pouring into each other and creating a community where we all can lean on each other and pour into each other. If I was not able to do anything else with my platform if my platform was taken away from me tomorrow i would be content with the amount of impact and seemingly now the newly defined the confluence that i've had on my people and that is really that says a lot like i got this message today she says i'm going to add mine lol ricky you've inspired this girl right here I literally prayed to God to direct me to the right creators to follow, and he led me to you. I knew I needed to do a deep cleanse on all my social media platforms and follow people who will help me in my journey. I said this prayer sometime last year in September when I was in a really horrible place, entered YouTube, and I saw your video on prepping for a That Girl semester, and I watched it. Then went on a watching spree. <laughs> well, when you talk in your vlogs, you have no idea how much gems and inspiration you are dropping. Girl, God is using you. I remember on that day taking with me the statement you made about life being what you make of it. Fast forward to now, and indeed, my life is becoming what I want it to be. I've rebuilt, hold on. I've rebuilt and still building a better relationship with God, 
I've traveled about abroad for medical school. I learned a new skill in between October and now I've been able to get an internship. By God's grace, I will be landing my first paid job next week, Monday, exactly when I needed it because med school is expensive. God is really using you and I hope you never stop creating content. Okay, last part, I'm gonna get through this. She said, you are literally touching lives and you are indeed creating space for other women too. I can go on and on, but I feel I've written too much. Thank you so much, Ricky. For real. I am going to do my best to show up every single day this month. And I'm going to be sad when I can't show up every single day in the following months because I obviously don't have the capacity during the school year. We're going to have to go back to like weekly vlogs. I am so glad that God gave me this idea. And he implanted this into me. And one of my followers, her name is Nikayla, um, she tweeted about it because I had posted on the first and I actually have blogs talking about this in December when I was like trying to put everything in order and I was talking about how I wanted to do like a series and I wanted to call it January and I was like talking to one of my really close friends about it. January 1st I posted on my Instagram and I like dropped the series she follows me and she tweeted and she said and i'm gonna read it and the tweet has like millions of views it says january invest into you pour into you love on you it's all about you the way that that tweet has three million views over sixty-eight thousand likes i have seen it on so many different pages now and it's going all over the place and that means the world to me that so many people are getting into this movement and this idea of pouring into yourself, taking an entire month, especially at the beginning of the year, to really invest in yourself and do what you need to do for you. The confluence that I have is literally invaluable. And I vow that as I continue to grow, I will never, ever lose sight of what my purpose is. And that is to create a space for us. This platform isn't mine. This platform is ours. This platform provides visibility to so many wonderful women around the world. People are commenting saying they're in South Africa and all over the place. And I think that is insane to me that a little old me, a girl from Cincinnati, Ohio, who was once bullied, who didn't know who she was, who allowed everyone else to define who she was for her. It wasn't always easy. And I, and I want a lot of you to know that I've gotten many flowers along the way, but I feel like today was the day that I received my bouquet and I'm just so, I'm so happy. So thank you.